there's an excellent SQL client out there called Squirrel SQL. It's free and open source. It allows you to connect to virtually every database server as long as you have a JDBC driver for it. It can be downloaded at this URL here. We've already downloaded the associated installer jar file and put it in the root of our hard drive in a directory called installers. To install this Java application, we first need to click Start, run Command, but instead of running it directly, we need to right-click on it and run it as an administrator. This will allow the Java Virtual Machine to write files to the protected directories of program files. You can see our installer here just a jar file. To run a jar file, you just type java dash jar and then the file name. For some reason, this particular installer has trouble in Windows 7 where you'll see right at the last step it will start complaining and shooting out some error messages in the end. Not to worry, Squirrel's been successfully installed and we can just quit the installer and start manipulating Squirrel. We will accept the destination directory. We don't need to install any plugins right now. I'll show you at the end of this video how to enable them if you want them. This is the end of the install. You'll see if we click Next, there's our error message, so we'll just give up on that idea. We can check program files, and indeed it looks like Squirrel was installed. We can fire it up right quick. Indeed it is. So let's exit out. Next what we're going to do is create a place for the JDBC driver, register it, and then connect to LucidDB using it. So what I like to do is create a directory for all my drivers called JDBC. So I'm going to change there and copy the Lucid client jar in here, located at our previous install of Lucid. In the plugin directory, it's called LucidDB client.jar. That successfully landed there. Good, so let's fire up Squirrel again. First thing to do is tell Squirrel about it. I had it previously on my list, so I'm going to delete it and recreate it for your benefit. So create a new driver. Let's give it a name. We can call it anything that we want. And this is a reminder URL of how to actually form the connection string. All of these files can be downloaded at this excellent website. And now for the important stuff, we need to flip over to this extra class path tab. We need to add the driver, float around on our hard drive to find it. Program Files, Squirrel, JDBC, and LucidDB Client. And finally, we need this magical object called org.lucidDB.jdbc.lucidDBClientDriver. And the green means we connected successfully. So that means we can use this driver to connect. Let me prove that. So if we fly over here to our LucidDB install, and we run LucidDB server, Once it loads, it's now listening on HTTP port 
8034. We don't need to worry about the port. The driver assumes that. We can add a connection for it up here. We'll say local Lucid DB server. We can select the driver from the list. And localhost is already specified, so I don't need to change that. The default user in Lucid is called SA, and there's no password for it. You can test your connection to make sure that it works before you save. And indeed, it did. It connected. It worked. So we'll go ahead and OK that and say connect. So having connected, we see the various uh, schema objects over to the left. And if we wanted to start writing some SQL, we just flip over to this tab here, SQL tab, and start going away with our SQL. Ta-da! That's it. We can cancel our connection here. We don't want to save the SQL query. Now about those plugins, uh, we had opted not to install them. When you check for updates, you have the ability to change what happens. Earlier in the installer, we had opted not to install any of the add-ins, but we can choose to do it here. So for instance, if we wanted the DB copy add-in, we can just change it here. Say install, apply changes, and on next restart of this app, it will find it. And it will actually be there. And you can see the confirmation message. Let's exit. And that's pretty much it. 